Well, the spike in attacks on cyclists in Pretoria, East Centurion and other parts of Gauteng has forced the cycling community to close ranks. At least two of the attacks were fatal. The Pedal Power Association, South Africa's largest membership-based cycling organization, publishes regular alerts on social media to warn cyclists who take to the road on weekends. We're joined by Neil Robinson, CEO of the Pedal Power Association. Neil, what seems to be the modus operandi of these perpetrators? Well, I think it's about people not having. They don't have the means in the end to actually find jobs. Um, they need to put food on the table, and anything that goes, goes. So they attack people, they try and look for goods to sell um, secondhand, they try and get them over the border, they sell to local shops. So they know what the value of bikes are, and they, they take advantage where they can. And I think they've got quite a, a sophisticated network of hotspots where they try and patrol, and any vulnerable cyclists out there is prey for them. So it's a real problem for us. Then what happens on the scene of these attacks? How do they go about it? Well, it happens in different spheres. You know, you get some, some gangs which wait, lay in wait in overcrowded, overhanging bushes. Then you get some in taxis that come from behind and stop cyclists. And then they, they literally, um, three or four of them get out of the taxi. They stop the cyclists. They take their watches, phones and bikes and off they go. So it's, it depends really on where you are. Um, we see it in, South, in Cape Town, right across South Africa, Kauteng, Free State, Eastern Cape. The, the numbers are growing, and sadly, they're not all reported. You know, some report to SAP, some don't. 